Hi, this is Manash Patel with BlackBar.com. Today is July 19, and this is our weekly review of the TNT, our AI forecasting tool, where you're looking for this black bar to occur, and then it tells you on the next bar that something's going to happen. And what we do is we go through a lot of the instruments, and we show you the results at the end of the week, every week. We primarily mainly been doing it for U.S. stocks and currencies and futures, and mainly on a weekly time frame, but it does work for any instrument in any time frame out there. So let's go through and look at the results for this week and see what we got. So here is the charts here. Okay, so this is a list of all the TNTs we got right here. It's a huge list, not that much compared to the previous weeks. So we knew that this week going in, there was going to be a very, very picky week and it could be a lot of situations where the markets can consolidate because we did not have a huge list as we've had for the last two weeks. So we know based on the list going into Monday on the trading day that this market had a high probability to consolidate and we have to be very, very picky. Okay. The way the system works is, is that you have this black bar here. As soon as you see it, next bar, something's going to happen. So over the weekend, we scan for all the TNTs on the weekly time frame. It gives us a list of all the stocks, currencies, futures, everything to trade for that week. And that's the list we have going forward. So this was the list that we had for this week for our U.S. stocks and currencies and futures. Okay. And then what we're doing is it's very simple. We know when it breaks the black bar high or low, it could start a trend. And that's when we want to enter. The question is, which way has a higher probability? This shade tells you that. If you have a green shade here, you want to bet on it going bullish. If you have a red shade, which we'll show you in a couple of minutes, then you want to bet on it going down. Okay. Where is your entry? There's a blue dot right there for the bullish entry, blue dot right there for the bearish entry, and your conditional stop is always the red dot right there. And if you shrink this down, since this is a green shade here, it will tell you exactly where your target is, which we will shrink down and your targets right there. So you know exactly where your entry is, where your conditional stop is and where your target's going to be. So at the end of the week, we want to be profitable to be able to stay in this trade for the following week. Okay. And we're talking about weekly because this is a weekly time frame. Okay. So this is a profitable trade right there. TSN. This was profitable. This is uh, HY Labor. Uh, this was the bearish trade here. You can see this was a profitable trade. MCK was profitable. This is gasoline. This was bearish here. That was profitable. Remember, the shade on the bar that you're entering is what matters, not over here. So initially, we were looking at this going bullish. But when the markets open, it changed to being bearish with that red shade here. So we quickly changed our sediment to being bearish. Uh, FSLR, solar, this was bearish, that was profitable. PBH was profitable. CI, this here, if you look at it here, this is break even. We do at one point, when you get to a certain price level, we do change our stop inner bar to break even, where we change our stop to where we enter so it's at break even and there's no risk. Because you do have that danger on the weekly time frame of entering, especially if it enters at the beginning of the week, where it can close out negative for the week and we don't want to go for that scenario where we go round trip at all. KSS, this is a bearish trade that was profitable. Best Buy, that was profitable. Oracle, this is break even. Verizon was break even. Intuit is break even here. These are trades that never entered. This gapped up, never got to our entry, so that never entered there. CNC, this is a bearish trade here with the red shade right there never entered DFS here this gapped up never came to our entry at all so we can't enter and then HST this is a no trade too so if you look at the high probability trades which were the shaded trades you basically had one two three four five six seven eight nine you had nine winners and you had uh, about four break even. Not bad, considering that you know that the list was very short compared to last week. Okay, 
the lower probability where it doesn't have a shade and it could go either bullish or bearish based on the rules these are the trades that are profitable so this is profitable this is SPG that was profitable MU profitable this is HRNR block that was profitable this was break even that's break even APD was break even and these were all no entries here okay but you could see that with this black bar there was a high probability in all the trades there that it broke the high or low. Now, whether you're profitable depends on your money management, which is built into the system. Okay, there's HAS. Tap, this was not a trade. It didn't fit our criteria. Notice this is pro profitable, but it did not fit our criteria for the strategy when there's no shade at all. Okay, so we did not enter that one. IPG, no trade. GPN, no trade, CRM, no trade, and AYV, no trade at all. So you basically had four winners here and three break even, okay? So if you tally up the results, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I counted that right. Jeez, another week of not being able to count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, then you had four, that's 13 winning trades right there. And then you had three, and four, five, six, seven. Seven break even trades. So not bad for a, uh, a week where you knew the market did not follow through at all from the trends from the previous week where we basically consolidated we had a lot of volatility with a lot of things going back and forth so it's not a bad week at all if you guys have any questions please ask on the social media post that you're seeing this please like and share this video too to others so that we could continue to keep on doing this thank you